Good evening, traders. This is Taylor from the TradingAnalyst.com. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to take a look at a bunch of charts here, and I'm going to share my thoughts with you and where I think the market direction is going to be headed, and hopefully it will help you navigate the market in turn. But first, if you're not already a member, go ahead and visit the homepage and start your 100% free seven-day trial today. All you need to do is enter in your name and your email address, and you're going to get immediate access to all of the member benefits like the live broadcasts, professional chat room, daily member videos, watch lists, webinars, and an education from mentors such as myself who truly care about your success. You're also going to be able to take part in the profitable trade alerts which not only will make you money in the market, but you're going to have the opportunity to learn while you earn from mentors like myself who care about your success. It's a great opportunity, and we'd love to have you. All right, so let's take a look at these charts. First one I want to take a look at is Apple. So Apple, we have a mini support break here. That support is at 97.70. And why is that support? It's from the body of this candle the low and body of this candle, the low of this candle right there. So that's three days, as well as the uh, gap close right here, uh, right here, the not the gap close, but the gap down candle close right here, as well as the open of this candle right there. So we've got five candles where that uh, is a level, and we closed below it yesterday and today. So this is going to be continue to be resistance, 97.70, as well as this downtrend line. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 touches on that downtrend line. Next support is down at 95.25, and as long as we hang below this 97.70, we're going to be headed down to that support at 95.25. Those are the levels that I'm seeing on Apple, and you should be aware of them. Next, I want to be taking a look at Netflix. And Netflix right here, main thing that I'm seeing right here is the downtrend line right here. We've got a couple touches here. We've got several touches here and a few touches right here, and that's above us. We've got resistance at 97 and then we've got support at 93. We've got support at 93. As you can see, it was the low of this candle, this candle, high of this candle, high of these few candles, high of these few candles, high of this candle right there. And as you can see, we are having three touches of that level in a row right here. So a break of that level, and it's most likely going to be headed down to that uh, 87.25 or so support. It's also going to be down to the lower Bollinger Band as well. As you can see, it's this gray line creeping up right here, and that might act as uh, a bit of support as well. We've also got a downtrend line, and I'm going to go into the 15-minute chart here so you can see it a little bit better. We've got a downtrend line here. You can see how many touches we've got along that downtrend line touch here and as you can see we're not getting touches on this downtrend line right here uh, but it's that same angle so the angle is what's most important as I, and as you can see on this 15 minute chart we've got support 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 many touches right there so a break of that support not going to be good we break over the downtrend line we're going to head back up to that 97 resistance up there next I want to be covering Tesla and Tesla, I'll get back to the daily charts here. And Tesla, we've got a couple things. We've got a break of this, excuse me, a break of this uptrend line right here. As you can see, we've got a few touches right here. We've got a touch here, a couple touches here, and then we broke through it on, uh, what is this, Friday's trading session. Yep, Friday's trading session, we broke through that. And as you can see, we tried to break over it from the underside and failed. 
Moving forward, we've got this main support right here at 215, 216, and we broke below that today as we close below that support. Next support, I'm not seeing until about 204. There are some mini levels, of course, uh, that you can see uh, between here and there, um, but I'm not really interested in those. Uh, the main support is down closer to 204, and as you can see from this candle right here, there's a gap that needs to fill, and that's at 204.66. So a gap to fill at 204.66 for Tesla. Next, we're going to take a look at Twitter. So Twitter. Uh, we closed over yesterday's high, okay? We closed over yesterday's high. Not only that, but we closed over this resistance over here. And why is this resistance? Well, it's resistance from this gap down high of 1528. And as you can see, we couldn't break over it here, couldn't break over it here, here, here. We closed just barely below it. And as you can see, we failed right here. So right now, we are having our highest close since this candle over here. Highest close since this candle over here, and we closed over this resistance. I'm not going to get too excited just yet because we have some resistance above us about 1550. So if we clear 1550, then I believe we're going to be headed up to about 17 up here on Twitter might catch some resistance a little bit lower around right there about 1640 uh, from the lows of these two candles right here and the open of that candle is nearby there as well then above that is that 17 resistance up there so really got to clear that 1550 level and why 1550 well it's the high of this candle right here so we've made a few highs uh, that are going to be resistance, but this is the first step, um, and it looks like it may want to do that. Um, but uh, just a little bit cautious here uh, on the long side, just because of you know the action that we've seen. You know this candle right here. Um, of course, you know we closed over it by a few cents, um, but I really want to see it clear 1550. You know before uh, kind of confirming this uh, bullish uh, breakout here. Uh, we've got some volume. So that's another positive uh, for the stock as well. So definitely more points for the bulls than the bears, um, but uh, definitely want to see some more confirmation uh, for myself uh, personally um, and my trading. Next, I want to look at GoPro. So GoPro, uh, just a review here. You know, we had that falling, I'm sorry, this rising wedge uh, breakdown pattern, and we came down to that support that I mentioned uh, last video we made on GoPro and as you can see we did get a bounce um, but as I mentioned in the last video I did uh, kind of a, a smaller support um, and we've got a gap to fill below so I think eventually uh, this support um, is going to break um, so short-term bounce yes uh, but eventually I think I think that's going to break uh, the support is not super strong uh, but it does have, you know, one, two, three, four, and now five candles uh, where it acted uh, as support. So we'll see if it flashes below to fill this gap around 90, I'm sorry, not 90, 930. And that's from this candle right there. The close that candle, 926. So gap to fill there. Uh, we'll see if it wants to fill that uh, kind of in no man's land uh, right here. Uh, not the place that I personally want to initiate um, any positions, long or short. Uh, the short opportunity was uh, out of this uh, falling, uh, I'm sorry, this rising wedge uh, breakdown. Um, and if you didn't catch it up there, kind of in no man's land as we're coming down to uh, support down here. And this is the main support at 827. You can see how many candles right here. We've got about seven candles where that acted as support. Next, I want to be covering Amazon. So Amazon, I continue to see some weakness here on Amazon. We've got this trend line that broke and we've got a new downtrend line to work off here. We have this resistance at 722 
as you can see, it was the lows of these few candles up here. And we've gotten rejected at it once and now twice right around that 70, 722 area. We still have a gap that may want to fill up here at 727.65. So if we gap, if we trade up in that range, 727 to 730, I believe that'll be a shorting opportunity um, on Amazon. If something changes, you know, we get a nice hammer, something like that, um, then I might change uh, my opinion. But with the, we're seeing the weakness in the market, um, so I'm feeling a little more comfortable um, shorting plays like uh, Amazon up here. But better risk reward is to get it a little higher. We've got support down here at about 712 from the lows of the last two days, as well as the open of this candle, the close of this candle, high of this candle, highs of these few candles right there. Below that, seeing some decent support around 704 would be the next support that I see for uh, Amazon. And then the pretty decent support below that is right around uh, 690 or so, right around 690. And that's going to line up perfectly with this uptrend line that we have over here. So we've got a few touches here, a few touches here, a couple touches here, and that's going to line up with that uh, support touch of this 690. So 690 support and uptrend line for Amazon. Next, I want to be covering Guild. And Guild, kind of in no man's land uh, right here. If you didn't catch that short uh, from this uh, trend line break, or short at this resistance, uh, kind of in the middle, uh, no man's land for me. We've got support a little bit below 82, right around 81.40 or so from the lows of these few candles right there. And we've also got the lower Bollinger Band. As you can see it right there, that gray line trying to creep up. That is the lower Bollinger Band that might act as uh, support as well. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. As always, remember, if you're not already a member of the Trading Analyst, now is the time to start your 100% free seven-day trial today. The only thing you need to do is enter in your name and your email address, and you're going to get instant access to all of those member benefits that I talked about before. We'll see you over there.